All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and the Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today we're going to be doing my TBR for the month of August 2022. TBR stands for To Be Read, in other words, books I may or may not read in the month of August 2022. Before we get to that, let's talk about the books that I promised you I would read in July. I think I read maybe 20 some odd books in July. Five of them I promised I would read and let's that I did read them and I did leave reviews of each one of these books on the channel. So let's go over them real quick. I did read um <clears throat> Mark uh, Mark Greeny thriller you can see that we finished that I did read um, Raven book number two in the Raven series the time of ghosts the uh, trash erotic fantasy kick that I've been on lately um, has been spectacular some of my best book reviews ever have been for the Raven series and some of these other ones that you know they came out in the 1970s and they just it's a lot of Bikini chainmail type fantasies. I also read a um, Tom Clancy Clear and Present Danger. Reread this one, left a review of it on the channel. Another thriller that I read was Daniel Silva's The Kellist or The Cellist. Still don't know how to pronounce that. And then, last but certainly not to be considered the least. I read Stephen King's Duma Key and left a review of that on the channel. So now let's get to the five books I may or may not read in the month of August of 2022. So I kind of wanted to do something from a different genre. Uh, so let's start with um, the mystery genre. I wanted to read another Richard Montaneri, um, Kevin Bryne and Jessica Balzano thriller. This is his Philadelphia mystery series. This is book number three, Merciless. So Richard Montanari. I think that's, I think I pronounced his name wrong every time. So that's the first book I may or may not read in August. Um, then let's do a, um, Science fiction. So for my science fiction pick in August, I want to read The Way of Spider, book number two in W. Michael Gere's Spider trilogy, space opera trilogy. Um, I reviewed book number one, which um, was The Web of Spider, or um, maybe it wasn't The Web of Spider, Warriors of Spider. Warriors of Spider. I reviewed book number one about a year ago. Let's get to book number two, The Way of Spider, one of my favorite, favorite space opera science fiction trilogies of all time. Probably be the tenth time I've read this, actually. I read these a lot. Where are we at? That's book number two. Book number three, let's do a thriller novel. And let's do Greg Isles' Black Cross. Oh, Greg Isles is one of my favorite authors of all time. So, uh, and Black, Black Cross was the second novel he ever wrote. I reviewed his first novel about five months ago called Spandau Phoenix. It was great. Black Cross is a thriller about, um, I'm guessing, I mean, there's no clue anywhere on the cover what this might be about, but I'm guessing it's about Nazis, a thriller about Nazis, or maybe the SS... I don't know, I can't tell from the cover. It's just not apparent. Let's do a fantasy. Let's try a fantasy. Let's try another 1970s erotic trash fantasy where the women wear nothing but chainmail bikinis. And we will be doing Red Sonia. The first book in the Red Sonia chainmail bikini saga. The Ring of Ikarubu, I think that. The Ring of the Ring of Ikrubu. Ik, 
Ikribu. The ring of Ikribu. Ikribo. Ru. Ikribru. Who cares? Look at that great Boris Vallejo painting. Who would not want to read a book that had a cover that spectacular? Oh my god. So that's the trash fantasy we'll get through. Um, and then, last but certainly not to be considered the least, we will do another horror novel. And I think the horror novel, this time, let's see if you can guess it just from the inside flap cover. So there's the painting on the inside. Can any of you guess what this would be? Write down your guess what book this is before I flip the cover and show you. If you can tell what book this is just by that illustration on the inside cover. This is a horror novel and it is going to be book number three in the Necroscope Saga by Brian Lumley, the source. It's got a rabid bat on the cover. But yeah, I've been rereading re uh, the uh, some of the Brian Lumley vampire novels. And they're pretty dope. So we will be doing one of those. So those are the five books that I will be re read I will be uh, reading and reviewing in the month of August at least. I'll probably read about 20 books, but these are the ones that I hopefully will get to. And there we go. That is it. Tune in next month to see if I accomplish the goal of reading all five of those.